Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today with another video. For those of you guys who are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you guys subscribe. Uh, so today we are gonna talk about all things money and things that I wish I knew when I was in my early 20s. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys different ways you can go ahead and invest your money. So. First, you can go ahead and invest it into Forex, into crypto, into stocks. There's so many different ways to invest your money. So I would recommend if you do not know anything about Forex, crypto, or stocks, do not invest your money until you are fully educated. So for those of you guys who want to learn more about Forex, crypto, stocks, make sure you go ahead and DM me now. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the link down below in the description box. So you guys can go ahead and DM me on Instagram. Just send me a message and let me know, hey, I want to learn Forex or crypto and I will go ahead and guide you and educate you. So I would recommend you guys to learn it all because now technology is taking over and the forex market is where the money is at so we want to make sure to be profitable and we want to have the right education okay so another way to go ahead and invest your money is through real estate so you can go ahead and rent out a home and you can do airbnb so all you have to do is let's say for example you go somewhere and you find a condo that is decent all you have to do is decorate it go on pinterest look for some cute inspiration and just decorate it and then post it on Airbnb, on TikTok, on Instagram. There's so many different ways to market your Airbnb and that's another great source of income. So another great way to invest your money is through two roles. So for those of you guys who have a car, and let's say for example, if you have a job, you have you work five days a week, and then on your day off, one of those days you wanna go ahead and stay home, you know, you wanna clean the house, you wanna just do things around your house, you don't wanna use your car, well guess what? You can go ahead and rent out your car for that day. Let's say for example, you have a Tesla. Actually, Tesla right now is like the top rented car on Turo. So let's say for example, you pay $400 a month for your Tesla. You rent it out $100 per day. In a week, let's say you rent it out seven days out of the month, you rent it out for $100 a day, that's $700 a month. Your car payment's only 400, so you just made a profit of $300. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and talk about strictly savings. This is your savings, your emergency savings. You always wanna make sure you have money put to the side where you don't touch it at all. Let's say for example, like when COVID hit, I know a lot of people lost their jobs, they were struggling. You wanna make sure you have money put on the side to be able to support yourself. You know, you have to pay your phone bill, you have to pay your rent, you have to buy yourself food to survive. So you always wanna make sure you have a savings. You never know when something can happen. You know, what if you have to get um, a surgery and your job doesn't give you benefits and they don't pay you. So you wanna always make sure you have a savings account. Okay, so now we are gonna talk about credit. Credit is so, 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 so important. So for those of you guys who are 18 and you have not started your credit, I would recommend start your credit now, today, right now, because credit is gonna save you so much money, it's gonna make you money, and you just never know when you're gonna need credit. So for those of you guys who don't really know about credit, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit more information on credit. So to start off your credit, you have to have a job so you have proof of income. One of the best credit cards you can actually get to start off that usually approves you when you have no credit would be Capital One. So that's the first credit card that I first got. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below the link and you just apply for it, asks you for your social, your first and last name, all that basic information and then you'll get a response within 
minutes within like one minute two minutes and as soon as you get approved they ship you out your credit card so that is one of the best credit cards to start off with they usually start you off with like three hundred dollars once you're using your credit card you're paying it back and they trust you they go ahead and give you a credit increase within like six months so you go from like three hundred dollars of credit to five hundred dollars of credit and it just you just keep going up so that's a great credit card to start off with so another way to start your credit, if you don't get approved with that credit card with Capital One, you can actually go to any furniture store and get a bed, a TV, whatever it is. You would just have to leave a down payment, um, but for the most part, all furniture stores usually approve you the first time even if you have no credit. Okay, so another great way to increase your credit is by using your credit. So I tell everybody, get yourself a credit card, try to apply for one that doesn't give you, that doesn't charge you an annual fee, that doesn't have a high interest. So the one of the best credit cards that doesn't charge you entrance within the first year would be Discover. I'll also go ahead and link it down below so you guys can apply for it if you already have credit. Um, cause I know you have to have a certain amount of credit to get approved for that credit card. Um, but I would say use your credit card. Even if you have a credit card that charges you 18% interest rate, just use it but pay it back before the month is over so you can go ahead and avoid all those fees or that all that interest. So let's say for example, when you go to the gas station, use your credit card. It's gonna help you increase your credit. A lot of credit cards also give you cash back. Like I mentioned earlier, the Capital One uh, credit card actually gives you cash back. So every time you're swiping your credit card, you're getting money back just by using your credit card and your credit just increases. Like, why not use your credit card? It's like, get yourself a credit card, use it. So I would also say use your credit card for recurring payments. Let's say for example, for Netflix, for your phone bill, for Hulu, for your memberships, like your iTunes membership, for storage, whatever it is, just use your credit card, like for your monthly bills, you're gonna get cash back and your credit will go up. Another tip that I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys, do not ever max out your credit cards. That makes your credit go down. So and let's say for example, if you get a credit line of $1,000, you wanna make sure you only use 30% of those $1,000. So you would only use about $300 from the $1,000. And make sure you're paying it back on time because that also affects your credit if you don't pay it back on time. So another reason why it's so important to have credit is because when you're gonna buy a car, they ask you for credit. If you have really good credit, you have less of a down payment, your interest rate would be lower, which will make your payment lower, and you would just save a lot more money. Another great reason why credit is important is, let's say for example, you need to buy yourself a house, an apartment, a condo, whatever it is, they ask for credit. If you don't have credit, you won't be able to get a place. So there's so many reasons why credit's so important. And for those of you guys who have credit already, make sure you're using it. For those of you guys who don't have credit, make sure you get yourself a credit card today. So for those of you guys who are wondering, where do I find my credit score? What is my credit score? how do I keep up with my credit score make sure you guys download credit sesame there's also so many other apps that you can go ahead and check your credit score the good thing about credit sesame is that it will tell you what you need to work on so it'll tell you your credit usage your payments and it'll, it'll give you a grade so it's like a b c d or f when it's an f you know you need to work on it when it's an a you know you're a1 honestly credit is just something that's very important in life. It is gonna benefit you so much in your life. You just never know when you're gonna need credit. Make sure you guys stay on top of your credit, pay your credit cards on time, and get to that 870 credit score. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is budgeting. Budgeting is so important because I know a lot of us, sometimes, you know, we get paid, we go to the mall, we go to all these expensive restaurants, you know, we just kind of spend our money like, like nothing. So you wanna make sure you go ahead and create yourself a budget. I use this app called Fudget. Honestly, this app has really changed my life and it has really motivated me to save money and to budget myself. 
If you guys would like me to make a video on all about budgeting and setting goals, make sure you comment down below so I can go ahead and create a video for you guys and show you guys how I make my personal budget goals. Something that I like to do is I'll go to the bank, I'll take out cash, and I make sure I only use that cash. Like I'll leave my debit cards at home. I'm gonna go to the mall, I'm like, okay, so today I'm only gonna spend $200 at the mall and I will take cash and that's all I spend. Or let's say I go to the grocery store. Sometimes I see so many different foods. I'm like, let me try this. And I buy this and that. And I, you know, I just buy everything. Take a hundred dollars. I'm like, I'm only going to spend a hundred dollars and that's it. It's going to save you so much more money. You just want to make sure you're not overspending. And I know sometimes when we have a card, we just swipe, swipe, swipe. And we don't realize how much money we're spending. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also learned a lot. Make sure you guys comment down below and tell me what you guys didn't know that you guys learned from this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.